Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, April 5, 2022. Here come the real solutions to problem 140. On April 1, <laughs> I fooled you and I told you that I had added the solutions to the problem 140. So many of you tried to find it there and of course it wasn't there. It was an April Fool's joke. Today is real. The real solution to a relatively simple Keplerian problem. Definitely, definitely within reach of main GEE problems, without any questions. I think though that when I was in high school, but not all high, all high schools are the same, I think that I could then already solve this problem. You ready? Here we go. Let's go over the problem again. I will read it slowly. Imagine a spherical non-rotating planet of mass capital M and radius capital R. The planet has no atmosphere. A spacecraft of mass small m, small m much, much, much smaller than capital M, is launched from the surface of the planet with a speed v0 at an angle of 30 degrees to the local vertical. The rocket burn is very short. Thus, you may assume that when the spacecraft has a speed v0, it has not yet moved any appreciable distance. The speed v0 is so high that the orbit is not bound. What is the minimum speed of which this is the case? Very simple, escape velocity. The kinetic energy is exactly the same as the gravitational potential energy. Out of that comes immediately the speed which is the escape velocity. Now imagine that the orbit is bound and that its subsequent orbit, in its subsequent orbit, the spacecraft reaches a maximum distance of 15 capital R from the center of the planet. At this distance, the speed is capital V. Question B. What is the ratio of V0 over capital V? Well, angular momentum is conserved. This is the angular momentum when the spacecraft leaves, leaves Earth. And this is the angular momentum when it is at its farthest distance. The two must be the same. And so you immediately find that V0 over V is 30. Next question. What is the total energy of the spacecraft immediately after launch? So the total energy is the sum of kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy which is negative, and so this is the total energy when the spacecraft leaves the Earth. Then the second question, what is the total energy of the spacecraft when it is farthest away from the planet? Of course that has to be the same. The total energy cannot change. So the same as in C, it is one half capital V squared minus mmg divided by 15 over. 
And since you know that V0 over V is 30, you can also write it this way. Then you get a V0 square here. Last question. Write down one equation which would allow you to solve for V0 in terms of capital M, capital G, and R. I'm not asking you to solve this equation. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult, because this is the total energy when it leaves the Earth, and this is the total energy when it is at the farthest distance from the Earth. And so the two are equal, and so that immediately allows you to calculate V0. You get one equation here with V0 as unknown. So all of this is thoroughly covered in my 801 lectures with Keplerian orbits. Was not too difficult, I think. If it was too difficult for you, it's about time that you brush up on Keplerian orbits. It's very fundamental and it is covered in most high schools, but not all, but certainly in first year college. Have a nice day and take care. Get ready for problem 141.